What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, we're gonna take a shag haircut. It's sometimes a little scary for your clients, a little too layered, a little too um, weak in the density. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make it thick, even on fine hair. And I'm also gonna show you guys a technique that you can use on multiple different haircuts to create great results. So uh, we're gonna get started with that. Also, I wanna say thank you to Joyco for sponsoring this video. Um, they sent me their new Love Aura collection. This is a brand new collection from them, the color intensity. I used the Passion Berry to cover up this uh, shag haircut. So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna apply it at the beginning and then you're gonna see that transformation and see that beautiful, beautiful, vibrant tone that comes through. This is a cool way to recycle old highlights, which is what we did in this video, to create dimension and pop of color, but then it's also not a huge commitment because it's a temporary color, there's no process to it. So really excited to share this with you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. All right guys, so before I get into the haircut, I wanna throw on a huge pop of color. We're gonna use the Joyco Color Intensity, the new Love Aura Collection. This is Passion Berry. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl, and the easy thing about this color is it's, it's gonna create a ton of dimension on old highlights. So we've got this mannequin. She's playing like she's got some old highlights. I'm gonna throw this color all over her head, and you're gonna see how much dimension is actually created. So on the lighter hair, you get the more vibrant pop of intensity, and then you get the depth in the darker hair. Process that for 20 minutes, and you'll see how much vibrancy happens in the end result after the cut. So for the cut, I do a center back parting. Then I, do, then I create a triangle right in the very front fringe area, and notice the line from that triangle comes right down to the hairline. So I wanna match up the hairline. I don't wanna go any further in than that. Uh, what happens when you do that is you create uh, sideburns instead of bangs, and that's not what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna braid that away, then clip it up out of her face. Just keep everything nice and clean, and that is the sectioning for this cut. Super, super simple. And now I'm gonna take a vertical section straight down and over direct everything to me in front of the chair uh, but what I do different in this technique and we're gonna create this modern shag uh, that's very salon friendly because it's not too crazy but I take away from parietal ridge down so what this is gonna do is give me that de uh, kind of dense uh, area from the parietal ridge down that thickness that I want to use later in the cut but it's gonna add the layers throughout the top. So I'm really just focused on the top. That's the, the whole point of this technique. So make sure as you're working through the top, you don't pull that front all the way over. I'm not trying to create a complete face frame either uh, around her face, so that helps with that. All right, so bringing it forward, breaking it apart, uh, staying consistent with that, and then cutting a parallel line uh, to my shoulders standing right in front of her face. So I'm gonna work my way all the way back through the crown. You'll basically keep working until you run out of hair. That's gonna help push layers. So the layers are gonna start short in the front and they're gonna to work to get longer in the back. That's why I, um, I consider this more of a modern shag. Um, gives us a little more of a today feel or a salon friendly feel because you're not cutting short layers all the way around the head but it gives the appearance of it. So you can see how much action happens in that haircut, how much those short layers pop in the front, but then again, they get longer in the back so it doesn't have that mullety feel that some clients don't love. So I'm um, gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, bringing everything straight towards me. You can see how I grab that guide. I just cut a little piece to match the other side, and then I use that as my guideline, and I work all the way through to the back. Now the scissor that I'm using, some of you guys might ask, it's the Matt Beck scissor uh, created by Mizutani. So I uh, sell it on the website. This is actually a special version that they sent me for a uh, Christmas gift. So it's a, it's a black finish with Dama metal, um, super cool custom scissor, but you can get the regular metal version on our website uh, on freesaloneducation.com. So there's the layering that goes through it. Um, you can see, again, lots of layers popping through. And now I'm gonna use a technique that um, I've, 
I got from my friend Sam Villa. Um, it's just a twist of the fringe. So I take that whole triangle, I twist it once, and I cut it. What that does is creates the shortest point in the center and then gets longer towards the outer edges. I'll pick that up. I want it a little shorter than that around the edge. So I just pick it up with my fingers and customize that a little bit. But you can see it gets shorter in the middle, a little bit longer towards the outer sides. And that's just an easy way to grab that fringe, twist it up, and get, get a really nice result quickly. Now I'm gonna go in with my Donald Scott carving comb. This is a razor with a comb on the uh, end of it. I'm gonna go through using the 100% cutting side and just cut my base whatever length I want. So as you're going through, you can decide after you cut the layers, how long do you want the hair to be? How long does your guest want her hair to be? And I go through and I cut that uh, to that length. So just shortening it up a little bit. Also, if you wanted to add a little bit more layering with that uh, tool, you could. But I'm going to go in and do some dry cutting once we get this thing blown dry. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use the Joyco Volumizing Styler. Uh, the cool thing about this, it's, uh, it's going to create long-lasting fullness. I really wanted to pop some volume into this hairstyle, get those layers really moving. So even though I'm going to do a flat wrap technique, I'm going to use a product that's going to plump up the hair. I'm using a paddle brush to, to work that flat wrap. Notice that I'm pulling it up over her face uh, and wrapping it around using the Dyson blow dryer, just working things through. Now, this is the Matt Beck Dry Cutting Edition Scissor. Uh, this is not available yet, but it will be available soon, so make sure you check back. Also, check our social. I'm going to be posting it everywhere when it's available, but this thing is a beast. Uh, I've been using it for about six months. It's made by Mizutani as well. It's part of this new collection that we're working on. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tease cutting. Uh, the, the benefit of a dry cutting scissor is it has a fatter blade, stronger metal, uh, goes through dry hair really smooth. Um, so what I'm doing is a half close technique. Um, so I'm half closing, I'm pinching the hair and just working through, trying to cut some of that longer because there's a blanket of hair that falls over that fringe that we cut. I still want that to fall over it. I want it to be a little bit longer, but I use... Uh, this technique to soften all of that hair that falls around the face. So I like the blanket. It's going to part off to the sides. It's not going to fall on her face like that. Um, so I like to keep that length so that the fringe isn't super thick. Um, and this hair is all going to fall to the side, like I said. So just pinching, lifting, and half cutting, doing that tease cutting technique through. Now I'm gonna do a slide cutting technique. So just again, pinching the hair. This is where I get to cut into that density that I left before. So we talk about um, in hair cutting, it's not about the hair that you cut, it's about the hair that you don't cut, right? So as we went through the top, I left the parietal ridge down, which gave me that density. So now once I blow it dry, I can say, all right, is it too thick at the bottom or does it, um, is it perfect? Um, is it thin? So what do I want to do next? In this case, medium density hair. I wanted to add a little bit more layering, give it a little more of a shag effect. So I go through and I slide cut and cut more layers. Um, if she had thinner hair, I would probably leave this density because of the fact that I want to let her hair be a little bit thicker, have those layers on top, be a little bit thicker on the bottom. So you have that versatility and that's why this is such a cool salon friendly cut. So now this is the matte bag texture scissor. So that's not available yet either, but it will be out soon. Uh, we're gonna go through and we're just gonna slide into the fringe a little bit and skinny it up as we work through it. So this is just a quick technique working through. You can work this uh, scissor with both sides. Again, been using it for about six months. Love the thing uh, and just working through sliding out. Now this is the Joyco Blonde Life Brilliant Glow Brightening Oil. So instant shine, a little bit of texture, I wanted to bring that out, but just really add the shine. I didn't want something that had a strong hold in her hair, just wanted to separate some of that texture. So you can see, this is our end result. Hope you guys like it. If you like it, make sure you share this video with your friends. Uh, I'd love to see it on your social, see what you think about it, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you liked this video, then make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Got a lot of videos just like this coming out. If you want to see anything, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for a talented hairdresser, go to our new website, stylislocator.com. We're going to help you find 
that talented stylist that matches you perfectly. So go check it out. Create a profile. You as a stylist get signed up and uh, very excited to grow this new venture, this new part of what Free Salon Education is all about. So go to stylistlocator.com. See what it's all about.